Hey guys, a few weeks ago I was over in Denver in Colorado in the States working with an amazing chiropractor, Dr. Nelson Matanzi. He's got over 50 years of experience and he was teaching me all about his GPA method. He works for the Denver Broncos football team. Amazing experience. Here's a video of me working on him and showing me how it's done. Hello everybody. Welcome to the Cairo Guru, Dr. Nelson Matanzi. I'm in my golf outfit, but there's a reason for that. We have a special video for you today from Dr. Greenfield from England. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Greenfield. I'm from uh, Wales uh, in Cardiff. I'm here visiting and learning some GPA with Dr. Nelson Matanzi for this week. As you see on the videos, when you watch the YouTubes, we get requests from all over the world. Many from England. People in England, this young man is trained to do GPA, he's certified. He spent four or five hours with me, he's got the manual, he's got the videos. He flew all the way over here to learn this technique, to present it to you. You can trust him. What we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna have Dr. Greenfield work on me and explain to you what he's doing so you know he's quite qualified and capable in GPA. If it wasn't for him working on me earlier, I probably wouldn't have golfed today, so thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Go face down. Face down. Face down first of all. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to check the leg lengths, and that right leg there at the moment is about an inch short. For those metric people, that's about three centimeters. Bend the knees. Completely even. Can you see that? Even. Can you see that? Um, uh, now we can. Down. And I can feel the right leg is short. So the right leg's short. And I feel the pelvis shift when I lay down. Yeah, that's a good thing. Perfect. Now, keep the camera there for me, uh, Dave. Look to the right for me. Stop the knee. And look to the left. No change, no change at all. That's nope. a negative nerve. Break. That's a negative nerve. Break. So I'm going to take a wedge underneath the right pelvis. And we're going to check again. Take a look at that, Dave. Even. So we've got an anterior pelvis on the right. Can you put it on the left just to show it? Yeah. Put it on the left. We go back and then show on the right leg again. We don't want to do that. <laughs> Thank you. So, pelvis, wedge in the pelvis on the right. Straight below. Ishim. Ishim was high on the left. High on the left, yeah. And then, sacrum. Okay, so now, no wedge, even. Absolutely even. Okay, so we bend the knees up. That's pretty good. Pretty good for a 42 year old. On each side. Yeah. Now, checking the arches of the feet. Slightly tender, slightly tight on the left side. Check the Achilles tendons. Again, slightly tight on the right. So we've got a drop navicular and calcaneus on the left. So, it's gonna drop that in. And get the calcaneus. Still slightly tighter on the left. Check those arches. Still slightly tight on the left. Big toe. Slight restriction on the big toe. There you go. That's better. That's bending like it should now. I'm still possibly going to flip you over there. Uh, flip onto your back for me, Dr. V. So that left ankle is just feeling a little bit tight to me still, so we're going to check that a little bit further. 
Same or different to you? It feels side. tighter on the left. Yeah, it feels tight on the left. The tail, the talus is the elevated. Talus. Yeah. So we're just going to get that talus bone. I'm going to tap that back in there. Wow. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, That's how it should be. Good. Right now we're going to check the hips. You've had two hip, hip replacements. Two new hips, yeah. Okay. So internal rotation. Wow. Wow. 70 degrees. I'll take it. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Let's check the other side. Okay, slightly tight on this side. Yeah, it's more like 20 or 30. Yeah. I feel tightness in my hip. I feel pain in my pubic bone. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and check the pubic bone there. Tender? A little bit more medial. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Tender. Different night and day. Is it elevated at all? It is. Yeah. Tell the camera. Okay, so we got left pubic bone here, right pubic bone here. It's not much, but it's slightly elevated on that side. About an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Yeah. That makes all the difference in the world. Should we leave that there? Should we get it? Fix that thing. Okay. Please. Step inside. Now, right on the pubic bone, it was perfect. Not the hip, right on the pubic bone. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's so uh, much better. Isn't that amazing, <laughs> isn't it? I found it, it released, and what has been happening, I've been doing certain abdominal exercises, and I've been pain, my pain's been in here. But I, I can't adjust myself. So thank you very much, no problem. All right. So this is your new GPA certified chiropractor for England. Trust me, see the man. So that was it. And I just want to say thank you, Dr. V. You really helped me. And since I've come back to the UK, I've been putting your method into practice. I've been getting some absolutely phenomenal results. The immense improvements in people's hip range of motion from the pubic bone adjustment on the low back. It's just fantastic. So if there's anyone out there with foot, knee, hips, pelvis, low back, neck, shoulder problems, give me a call. Go to the tuneroom.co.uk, see, see what people are saying about the results they've had. And you know, if I can help you, I'll try my best. Hope to see you soon.